It's time to du 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 duel! Shut the F up, Yugi. Hello, welcome to another figure review. Today I'm gonna have a look at the Figma 372 Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh! Hell yeah, I mean, I'm so in the zone for this one. I, uh, what, like a year ago or so, I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! again. There's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Marathon is running on Twitch again, and then this guy arrives at my doorstep. I can't believe it. I will be looking forward to this, and uh, I'm <sighs> Figma, please, Figma, please. I want more. I want a Joey. I want a Tear. I want a Tristan. I want a Mai. I want a Pegasus, and uh, more monsters. We only got the Dark Magician Go so far, and uh, for the record, I will have all the Yu-Gi-Oh figures in here. I'm, I'm gonna have a quick comparison with the Vulcan Lock before the end of the video, but uh, you know, stay tuned for that. For now, we're gonna have a look at Seto Kaiba. Virtual systems ready. I want to know what's up with that face. Why is he so happy? Kind of never happy. He's either yelling or angry. So, or like a, just a regular straight up face. He stands a little over 16 centimeters tall. And that means he's a little short of six and a half inches. He is a tall bastard. A lot taller than Yugi, so uh, I think that's in scale. But we're going to have a look at that later. But first and foremost, I want to have a look at this figure right now. Uh, face sculpt. Other than that he's smiling, which I don't not, do not dig at all, the hair looks nice. If they if the eyes look weird, it's one of these figures that has the gimmick where you can take the faceplate off and you have the eyes inside which you can rotate around. Mold of the hair. I like the spiky hair in the back. Let me uh, take him off the base real quick. And let me take his head off. You have all of this in the back over here. That's cool. And look at all the wrinkles, all the mold. Well, not really wrinkles. The hair. The hairline is going down. We got the small bolts. All throughout his weird outfit. I mean, it is a weird outfit, let's be honest here. It is classy, only Kaiba can pull it off, but it is very nicely done, very cleanly done. And they're playing around with a lot of soft plastic over here. We got some soft plastic in the collar that goes down to this piece. Now, the single card necklace he has is completely molded on, which I honestly I think is a bit of a bummer. It makes it look a lot cleaner though, but uh, depending on how you want to pose them, a little bit more of an action pose, it will always stand in the same place. We have this purple affair going on over here and just giving you a turnaround look of everything that's going on. This is floaty as you can tell. But we're gonna have a closer look at that once we get to the articulation and then we got a nice metallic, his arm braces, the Kaiba Corporation belt buckle and there was also the Kaiba Corporation logo in there. Very cleanly done. I'm having flashbacks of the Vulcan log one that was horrible, horrible. Got the crotch piece and we're going down to the uh, nice purple inside of his jacket. Down to the boots. He has really long legs, but once again, it's accurate. It's 100% anime manga accurate. I, I don't care which way you look at it. Going to the back, and has a tons of wrinkle and detail going on. There's a two-piece stuff. Again, we're gonna have a look at that once we get to the articulation. I want to examine that a little closer right now. So for your articulation, I'm gonna start off at the head, while well, the neck more precisely, because you can rotate that around, can bring it all around, and the head itself is a little limited. It does go forward, and it does go back, but as you can tell, it's blocked by the chin and the hair in the back, and then you can bring it to the side just a tiny bit, and it does rotate around, no problem or there. Now with the shoulder pads, as I told you, those are, those are completely floaty, Covering up all the stuff, and from what I can tell, there's a ball hinge that goes into another ball hinge, but it's still blocking it. I'm you gotta be really careful with it. Bring it up, and it doesn't really go up much more. If you rotate it around, let's see. Yeah, you really have to play around with these things. The floaty part over here, it still blocks it. You have a lot of room over here, so it's not bad. And uh, the coat, I think the coat is completely soft plastic actually over here. Now that I'm moving around, I realize that this is moving with it. It gets pulled back though a little bit. You have bicep swivel over here, and then it goes off. That's the, that's the bicep swivel. Just packed in there, just connect it very easily. Single ball hinge in the elbow, and the fist is on another ball hinge, so you can bring that back and forth. Rotate it around. Now for the torso articulation, which also easily disconnects, there's a lot of easily disconnecting. This is soft plastic, his, uh, his shirt. And then you have the double ball combination over here, which just packs into the lower part of his torso. 
And, uh, I mean, it's hiding it very well, but let's see what we're getting out of it. It does go forward, but it's immediately pulled back. And it does go back. It's okay. It's not the greatest. And you have to tuck that back in into the crotch piece. Now I want to go to the back. This is, again, soft plastic, this part of the coat. These, uh, kind of looks like a, like, blue eyes horn sticking out, honestly. Now that I, now that I see that, that's the first time I'm realizing that. <gasps> Maybe it's meant to be. Then you have two hinges for your coat, so you can bring those up. And with the soft plastic, it does move out of the way. It does push back, though, also a little bit. But you can still have a pretty cool pose as he's walking. I mean, with Yu-Gi-Oh, that was always, like... Their clothes are gravity-defying. How many times did you see Yui with his, with his uh, school jacket just floating like that? And even with Kaiba, you know, they're just standing there or just walking lightly. Just like, whoosh. Anyhow, wow, whoosh. Also rotated around over here. So you got that with the coat. Then the legs, well, the crotch piece first and foremost. You can rotate that around, bring it back and forth. It is soft plastic, and with the soft plastic shirt, there's nothing really hindering your movement. It's uh, kind of pop out a lot. That's the problem with the shirt. Also rotates around all the way. Is this torso really connected? Feels a little bit loose already. Legs goes up nicely. Goes out a little bit in an angle because of the crotch piece. Once again, does go out to the side, I think. This side works better. Yeah. Is it cut up over there? No. It just has a lot of room though, in the in the crotch part, crotch division. And let me see how far I can get it back with the... Yeah, that's okay. That's nice. And you can also rotate it around. Five swivel, single hinge in the knee. Eh, doesn't look great, but it, it gets the job done. And then the foot has not a ball hinge, so you can bring that back and forth. Does rotate... Does rotate to the side. Yeah. And then you got the toe hinge, which doesn't really go up that much, but eh, it's a toe hinge. For the accessories, I'm gonna start off with the nice shiny metallic briefcase, which opens and closes. Yeah, it carries all his cards in this around. Of course, there's nothing in there right now. You only get a sheet of paper in it. I would have preferred, honestly, I would have preferred just them to mold them in and whatnot, just paint them in. Uh, this is kind of dumb. Not, not really a fan of that, but hey. Yeah, you got all the cards, effect cards, spell cards, and ritual cards? Uh, blue is ritual, like, what the fuck? He doesn't even have spell, he doesn't even have trap cards. What's going on? Uh, then we got the dual disc. That one is nicely painted. With the blue on the side, got a little bit of metallic, the simple arrows, and his deck. And also his arm piece is completely connected to it, so you just take off one arm piece and connect this one. No fidgeting around and getting dual disc on your arm. And I'm gonna look at the hands. Open hands. This, this kind of a little bit looks like a slap. And they, they look very cartoony and fairly big also, which is accurate. Again, uh, shout outs to, to Figma doing that. Card holding hand. Uh, that's for that's the single card, I think. Uh, this looks like an other holding hand. Uh, for the briefcase, obviously. And just posing hands, pointy fingers. Then we got two faces, and this is where I don't agree with. Uh, you got only one smiling face looking to the side. Well, you can change the eyes, so the eyes don't really matter, but you have uh, eyes which you cannot move around that just look to the side, and you get a Yugi face. Uh, I mean, if you don't have Yugi, screw you. You can't do anything with that. And then we have these eyes, which just look forward menacing. I like these, so probably gonna use that. And then we had. See through eyes? I guess that's just to put in the face when you're not using it so it doesn't stretch or something. I don't know. But yeah, see through eyes. Ghost Yugi! Bruh! Exodia! Oblida. Okay, I'm, I'm stopping. Cards. You got the full four. No, what is it? Five cards? Yeah. And then the sixth one. Nice. They're keeping up with the rules. You know, can only have six cards at one time in your hands. But, uh, it's weird though that they only painted the first one and then do the other ones. But, uh, yeah, for the rest of it, they look good, they look accurate, nice and detailed. Well, detailed, it is simple. And, uh, for the rest of it, you got the Figma back, staples, and the Figma base, as usual. Nothing new there. So, yeah, we're getting everybody out for this one. I just want to have the whole shebang together for a final comparison shot. I don't have the Dark Magician girl right now because I just like 
Honestly, I'm a little, I'm a little annoyed, but I'll get to that in a second. Here's the Vulcan log once again. Uh, I had the review of this one a long time ago, and I talked about mainly the paint problems. Overall, it's not the worst figure, but uh, yeah, the Figma one kind of destroys that. So uh, it is a bit of a different design. Here's a bit more stylized. Uh, they took some liberties with the paint job and whatnot. And uh, yeah, having the floaty piece over there is definitely better than having a big ball joint sticking out. This guy had some metallic, but once again, it is the movie design. So I guess they wanted to make it more flashy. Where's like the Kyber Corporation logo? There's like one part that was just laughably bad done. Oh, there it is. There it is. It looks like KO. There you go. Looks like a knockoff. It's not a knockoff, it's Vulcan Lock. But uh, you still have the Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. Also reviewed that way, way back. And, uh, you know, the Vulcan Lock figures have problems. So let me move that out of the way. Okay, so final thoughts for this figure. I rambled a lot and I re recorded this a lot, but I'm, 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 I made up my mind, okay? So, here's the deal. This figure is good and I can recommend this figure. However, I gotta give you a warning also. Be aware of the problems with the joints. The joints keep disconnecting. You didn't see that, but uh, as I tried to get them into pose, uh, arms, legs, everything, but during the video already you had the biceps, so the chest kept popping off a couple of times and the joints are extremely loose, so uh, yeah. Also the problem was whenever I took the hand off, the pack came with it, so you have to, to get a wrench and pull the pack out and just... Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's annoying, alright? It's just annoying, but the figure itself looks good, articulates well except for the torso, and the one thing I still can't complain about is the choice of faces that we don't have an angry face or a really yelling face that he's always smiling. Kaiba smiling? Like seriously? Okay. As usual guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget if you enjoyed this review, feel free to hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever, Seto Kaiba once. <laughs>